In this video, I attempt to beat Minecraft while playing in a world comprised only of layers. Watch till the end to see if I can beat the dragon after you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications right now in three, two, one. Welcome to the subs club. Here's the comment of the vid. And if you want a chance to be featured here, leave a comment down below. And can we get 103 likes on this video? <laughs> and just a quick reminder once again that I do role plays over on my Roblox channel and that you should check it out today at youtube.com slash grazer plays. Link in the description down below. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, so not the normal spawn today. We're not in any swamp or mesa. Instead, we're actually on, well, the clouds. We're, we're literally up in the air and, uh, well, that's a very long fall, but I do see two villages down there. So as you guys know by now, we are trying to complete the game, but in a world where everything is in layers. So currently we are on the clouds layer and we have to find a way to get down from here. And I almost just fell. And if I fall, I die and I lose the challenge immediately. So step one, how do we get down to the actual surface so we can maybe, you know, actually start this challenge. And uh, well, there's a chest located in the middle. Now I just gotta parkour all the way there without falling and dying. Guys, if you've ever wanted to sleep on the clouds or just be on a cloud in general, it's not fun. <laughs> Rethink your dreams, but let's get on over to this chest and we are here. Okay, so I think this is the only chest around. Let's open it up. Oh no. Oh my goodness. For everyone who knows, I am like the least MLG person ever when it comes to, uh, well, anything Minecraft, so this is gonna be really hard, but I think I'm gonna have to use this water bucket to uh, help me survive. Oh my gosh, please, please nail it, please nail it. Yes! Oh, okay, it actually wasn't that hard. Well, we're down from the clouds. Now we're on the surface. So it is a flat world and there's not much to this world because, well, we can't just go off into the distance and get different stuff. We have to use the layers that this world comes with to complete the game. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna go to these villages. It looks like, oh no, poor villagers. And we do have a lot of food. So let me grab all these carrots. The beauty of it being a nice layered world and you know, them being here forever without any Thing going wrong is uh well the crops are fully grown so i'll take all of that and we are pretty good on food let's see what is in this blacksmith in three two one Ugh. okay well we have an apple we have a couple of bread we have a saddle i don't think we'll be on any horses in this but we do have a saddle we have two pairs of iron leggings why couldn't that be you know two different set of iron pieces, but it's all good. We have a pair of iron leggings and we did have another village across the land over there. And I'm pretty sure it also has a blacksmith. And is there a blacksmith at this village? I don't see one. I see a church. I see a well, <gasps> please blacksmith. Yes, yes. Okay, we do have one over here. All right, perfect. What are we gonna have in this chest? Please give me something like, you know, relatively good. Oh my goodness. These are like two of the worst blacksmith chests I've ever seen. We do have three obsidian and here we go. It's time. What's the first? Oh, we have sand. Oh, it's sandstone. This is why we needed a stone pick. Okay, we just need to make sure we don't fall. Oh gosh. Holy, we are in what appears to be a desert layer. Let's just look around. I, I do see a desert temple there. I, I wanna explore that last just to make sure there's nothing else a part of this. It doesn't look like it. I mean, it is the very first layer, guys. So <laughs> probably not much going on here. We'll go and uh, look in this desert temple. We have a chest. Okay, we have two chests. What do we have in the chest? <gasps> Iron and diamond, beautiful. Okay, so actually that will make, oh no, we already have boots. We need another iron. There's acquire hardware. We do have another chest and inside here, we have two gold and a cobweb and we have more chests. Okay, and three additional chests here. What do we have? And then we have an emerald, we have another gold. So we're almost halfway and there's all of the string. Okay, beautiful. What do we got in here? What the heck is that? Forest destroyer. <gasps> Oh, this is one of the custom OP items, guys. I think this weapon destroys an entire forest if you're in one, in one click. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. What's in this chest? Oh, a lucky block chest plate. So if you guys don't remember, uh, these are items I've introduced before and I wanna test this forest destroyer. Okay, so let's put it in our inventory. We have a bunch of trees. Oh, actually there's only two but we're in the vicinity, do I right click? Oh! 
Oh, oh my gosh. Well, I guess we won't need any more wood where that came from, at least for the time being. But I think that's it for this layer, so it's time to dig down to the next. Oh, it's a mushroom layer. <laughs> And wait, hold on. With all the wood we just got, we could create a bunch of bowls. And if we didn't end up getting food from the village, we could just go ahead and infinitely milk these guys for a bunch of mushroom stews. Look at this. And what do you know? <laughs> Look at that. Underneath one of the mushroom trees, there is a chest. And inside, oh, the lucky block boots. I wonder if these layers are going to contain all of the armor pieces necessary to make this thing work because this Lucky Block armor produces some really OP stuff. So we'll put that on for now. I don't actually know which is stronger. I think, yeah, actually the Lucky Block boots are stronger as an armor piece and they just look sick. But this looks like it's going to be a Prismarine type dealio. Oh, oh, okay, we're in the water. We're in the water. There's a shipwreck. There's a coral reef. Okay, so the water doesn't go all the way. We're not gonna drown. We have no fear there. And here we go. We got a chest right here and inside uh, two emeralds. I mean, if we wanted to trade with villagers, if it came to that, we have the emeralds to do so i'm gonna put that at the top of my inventory there is another chest here and okay this looks more like a shipwreck chest we have a golden apple in here okay by the way i know you guys are like oh what's wrong with your inventory so let me go ahead and clear all this out we don't need like most of the stuff in our inventory right now and let's fill it up with all the goodies so lapis is actually beautiful because we're going to need that to enchant <laughs> regardless of if an enchantment table is provided or not and there's another chest okay what do we got in this one <gasps> Two diamonds. Okay, so that brings us to five. Do we make a diamond sword? I think maybe we do just to combat any, you know, threats. And we have a flint and steel. And actually, that flint and steel goes really well with that TNT. So that might be a play at some point. I think that might be it, though, after scouring everywhere. So go ahead and make this diamond sword. And on to the next layer. Okay, we got it. <laughs> there we go. And it's wood. <gasps> we have a forest destroyer, guys. Hold on. What is this? Is this what I think it's going to be? Is this? <gasps> I see a tree. Okay, this is honestly what I thought would be one of the very, very first layers, but it looks like it is the wooden tree layer. So if I go ahead, oh my gosh, trees all over the place. Let me use my forest destroyer in three, two, one. Oh! Oh my! Oh! Okay, well, I guess we don't need all these trees, do we? Oh, <laughs> goodbye. But I didn't even get the chance to like really explore this layer before completely destroying it. We have pigs and cows living here. And look at that. We have a little house or used to be house here in the corner with a chest that I am assuming I was supposed to walk in and just like see and hey, piggies. Yay, you guys can breed. But in the chest we have, okay, I see where this is going. We have the lucky block leggings. We're only missing one item to get the full set of this armor, and that, my friends, is a poggers! We'll also grab a bunch of sugar cane, but honestly, because we got paper... Oh, yes! That's what we need cows for! We need the leather! Yes! Okay, thank you. You dropped leather, and so did you. Okay, so now, we'll make a book. We'll put it at the top of our inventory with all of our other important stuff. Dude, we have too much stuff, and I just threw out my string, which I shouldn't do because I can now create a bow, and we'll put that on our little hopper. We don't need the axe anymore. We can throw out the axe. We got the freaking forest destroyer, man! Wait, so if I go here, and then I right-click, and then I just... Oh! Okay, yup. Okay, that's one way to get rid of the layer, but you know what I just noticed? The next layer is just stone, so does that mean... Uh-oh. Wait, what is that? Okay! <gasps> TNT! Yes, I will take all this TNT! And look at that! We have two eye vendors hidden in this random furnace, and, uh... Well, there might be more stuff around, and that's already two toward the 11, or maybe 12, if nothing else is filled in, that we will need to complete the game. So we have two eye vendors. We're gonna put that at the top of our thing here. Oh my gosh. And it looks like we have a dungeon here at the far side. So if we go in, do we have a chest? It doesn't look like it. And yes, we do, in the corner of the room, in three, two, one. <gasps> Oh, okay. Well, we have an apple and some obsidian and okay. Well, you know what? That's not just some obsidian. That's enough obsidian to make an enchantment table, baby. Look at us now. So now we have an enchantment table, but we have no XP like whatsoever. And guys, yes, I've checked all the furnaces in this entire room. Only that one furnace had the eye vendor. So there's no, no other ones hiding around. Trust me. Oh, oh my gosh. There's endermen everywhere. Pigs all over the place. Where are we? What's going on? Oh, wait. 
Hold on. Oh, I see. XP everywhere, guys. Look, we're already over two levels now. So this is, I guess, how we get all of our XP in order to enchant. There are literally pigs around every corner, but I guess we're going to get bad mobs as well. Get out of here, zombie. I don't need any. <laughs> that, I think, is the first hostile mob I've had to deal with all game. Okay, so there's a lot of endermen here. This is perfect because we're going to be able to get a lot of ender pearls. So, well, <laughs> you guys love the carrots. Oh, gosh, no pigs. <gasps> no. <gasps> the creeper just revealed the next layer inadvertently. Oh, my goodness. This definitely is the layer of the mobs, though. Wait, I could totally destroy this house right now. Hold on. I want to see what's inside, if there is anything. And there is a chest, and it has an eye of ender. So that puts us to three, and we have an ender pearl. We just need blaze. Okay, so wait a second. I have the TNT. There's an enderman. Oh! Oh, it didn't even die. Now it's bad. Now it's bad. Oh, I played a bad break. Okay, I did get an ender pearl. So that's up to 10 ender pearls now. With the three eyes, that's going to be 13 total eyes. And I don't know if we're actually going to have to use any eyes. I would normally get the, you know, the direction of the stronghold. But I think we're just going to have to keep going down. And then it'll probably lead us there eventually. So with that being said, to the next layer, which I think we already all know what it's going to be. Oh! <laughs> It's enchantment zone. Okay, this is perfect because we have all the levels we just collected from killing all those endermen and pigs. Oh, wait, actually, there's a chest here and oh, I hear Blaze. Uh oh. Oh no. And oh my goodness. Wait, projectile protection, blast protection, respiration, aqua. And oh my gosh. This enchantment area has every single enchanted book possible. So what I'll do is I'll take a Smite 5 book, because actually that would be good for my sword, but I don't think I'm going to do anything. Yeah, because Smite 5 is going to kill mobs super quick, including the Ender Dragon. But no, I, I think I'm going to keep my armor the same. I'm going to gamble on the fact that I might still get that, you know, that helmet. And if we do, then we get all the OP items in the world, because we have the full set of Lucky Blog armor. What does this do? Whoa! What is that? <gasps> it's an X! XP machine! Are you kidding me? I mean, I had to kill the Enderman anyways, but look at that. Level 30 enchant. You know what? Oh, I don't want to enchant any of my armor. And we have all the books there anyways, but just because we hit level 30 and it's just gonna be efficiency three. Woo! Well, this is gonna be the hardest layer because I can almost guarantee that this next one is going to be the nether. So uh, I'm not looking forward to- Oh no! It's covered in obsidian. I just had to destroy three and Jim, and dude, I don't want to do this again. Well, we're going to have to. We don't have enough diamonds. So, guys, get ready for the very first ever iron obsidian mining session. Okay, it wasn't that bad, actually. All right, do we just go face first in here? I'm going to have my golden apple on my thing ready. Actually, we have enough to make another one. And, oh, brother, what do we got? Oh, my gosh. Okay, there's a Zoglin, Wither Skeletons, Blaze. Oh, actually, with my sword, it's Smite 5, so it's killing. It's shredding these things very quickly. Oh, this brute's got a problem with me, though. Run, 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 run. Get what's in here. <gasps> we have the final piece. Okay, run, 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 run. Hold on. This might help me. I think the pigmen and the Zoglins are in a war with each other right now. They're, like, killing them. Okay, well, now they're coming to me. But we have the final piece to the Lucky Block armor. So now we have it on. And look at what it does. It's just going to start splattering OP armor everywhere. Like, OP things. So, like, if we ever need anything everywhere we walk, like, look. Now we have a Totem of Undying. So we'll put that in our hand. We have a freaking Unbreaking Trident. Fire Aspect Smite 4 Gold Sword. Everything we could ask for. This Lucky Block armor has it all and we have an elytra why does it that every time i get an elytra it has a bad enchant on it oh yes a mob shield yes 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 okay actually we're gonna take the totem away i think we're gonna put that to the back side we don't need the obsidian we'll put the mob shield on so goodbye blaze come here brother we got two more chests over here as well oh that lucky armor is incredible we have three which converts into six which i can use oh i have so many ender pro it's dropping it dude it's dropping everything in the game. We have nine eye vendors. We have 20 eye vendors. It just dropped me like a whole set of low. Dude, this is too OP. Infinity book. Yes. That's perfect for fighting the dragon. Oh, dude. This is the best layer yet. But I mean, we don't need these ores. I'm gonna fight the Ender Dragon with what I currently have. We don't need anything else, but this is an amazing, amazing layer. It's time to go to the stronghold. Oh, we're here. 
our stronghold time. I spy with my little eye. And we have one filled in, which means we actually didn't need all 64 of these, surprisingly. <laughs> and we can just fill this up and head right on in. I don't think I need anything else, guys. I, I'm OP enough. Look at my hot bar. So in we go. Mr. Ender Dragon, do you like my littering of OP items everywhere? <laughs> so we'll start firing all these crystals. Get out of here, brother. All right, what direction is your head going to be facing? All right, right here. Let's light a TNT on the dragon's head. Goodbye, dragon. Oh, it actually took him down quite a bit. Come on. No, he moved his head a bit. Oh, no way. No way you got away from that. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You ain't getting away from me. That's how you beat the game when the world is in layers and you have access to special magical lucky block armor, everyone.